Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we are looking at another land vehicle and this one is called the Esprit Personal Exploration Rover which is this thing right here. So much like the vehicle I did last time which is sitting right over there, this vehicle is designed to explore different planets and to live your life while driving around. Except this one actually has a little interior for you to go inside and live quite a comfy life. So pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is, this vehicle is 1197 small blocks. It uses no mods and no DLC, but it does use a couple of scripts which are listed right here. So it's got its radar, the LCD script, the immersive lighting and the compass, just to make getting around a little bit easier. So let's start by taking a look around the outside of this vehicle, that will give it a little drive around and end it there. So with the very front here, we can see that I'm sitting in the newest cockpit available to everyone. It was originally in the DLC pack, but they changed it and gave it to everyone and it does look great. Surrounding it, we got some dark blue and white blocks, which are all in the clean skin. And coming down to the front, we got two little spotlights and a parachute hatch. Now there are a few parachute hatches on this, so if you did end up going over a cliff, then there's no need to worry because you can land safely. Coming around the side there, we see we got some lovely block work and on this side we got ourselves a ladder because that's how we're going to get up and inside this vehicle. We got a battery there which has been covered up much like the vehicle in the background over there to protect it from oncoming bullets. So it won't completely protect those blocks but it's there to make it look great and just to give it a little bit of cover. Now you can also hear the rumblings of a hydrogen engine which is sitting right below that turret up there, but unfortunately I cannot show you that. We do have a large connector there which goes around to the back and some more lovely block work. At the very back we've got a parachute hatch once again and above there we can see we've got ourselves a antenna. Just dropping down here we've got an air vent to suck in the air from all around you and a button with two lights surrounding it. That button will lock or unlock that connector right there. Which you might be thinking is in an odd place but like a few vehicles I've shown on this channel this does have a piston system. So if you wanted to do a bit of maintenance work, so if I was to come over to here and press these, pistons will drop down and lift the vehicle up, allowing you to access underneath and thus that connector. So coming up and above there past that antenna, we once again got some more lovely block work and a Gatling turret to protect yourself from oncoming meteors or perhaps a pesky drone. Moving towards the front there, we can see our entrance into the interior, which just comes down this ladder. And then we come down into here, where we've got ourselves a small cryopod. We've got a survival kit and an O2 H2 generator next to a battery. We've got a sensor block right there, which will just activate the lights when you come near it. And another parachute hatch. Just turning around here and towards the control seat, we've got some programmable blocks going around the outside which have all been clearly labelled with what scripts they are using. So there's the LCD script, there's the radar, there is the light control and there is the compass. If I just come around to the front in front of where I'm sitting, we've got some more LCD screens which are showing you what those program blocks are actually doing. So there is the radar, there's our navigation, there's our cargo status and there is our compass. And with that all said and done, let's now go into what this thing can actually do. So number one on the tab will be the spotlights at the very front. We just turn them on and off, so there is that. Number two is to manually control the Gatling gun on top. So unlike that vehicle over there, this one cannot be set to automatically fire. It is manual control only. Unless of course you change it in the options. Coming out of that, number three and number four are for the pistons to deploy. Now if you're on a sloped surface, it will be a good idea to do something like this. If you're on a perfectly flat surface, then it's fine to do this, but if you're not, you'll probably just slide around and perhaps damage the vehicle. Number five, we'll turn off the rear steering. So if we want to do some sharp turning, that is how we're going to stop ourselves from flipping over. Number six is our projector block. So if we turn it on, it'll start projecting this vehicle. So if we took any damage, we can quite easily spot it and repair ourselves up. It'll be even easier if you had a builder repair system nearby so you could simply drive past it and it would weld you up. Number seven is to lock or unlock the connector at the very back. Number eight is for our gyroscope on and off, which is a very useful thing to have. And number nine will deploy the parachutes. Whoop, there they go. On tab number two, we've got some controls for the wheels, but we don't touch the wheels. 
if they have been set up. So now it's time to give this thing a little drive around, so off we go. Let's see how well this thing can handle. So we're going to leave the back wheels off and we're going to start turning around. We're nice and firm on the ground, there's no risk of tipping over at this speed. If I was to turn on the rear wheels, however, you'll probably see that we're starting. Whoop! Starting. We've actually flipped over. That's not good. So there we go. We're just going to flip over, just going to turn off the gyroscope so we land back down. And there we go. So if we put on the projector right now. There we are. That's all the damage which has been done. Goodbye, survival kit. We won't be respawning on you anytime soon. Yes, it's a lovely little vehicle to have around, and it's quite nice for exploring, actually. Having that little interior there, that cryopod, acts like a nice bed. What is going on there? Whoa! <laughs> the gyroscope is out of control! Wow, okay. So let's pretend that didn't happen, and just drive it around a little bit. In fact, let me find the wheels, and then we'll end it. So let's just find... Oh, what is going on? Go away, Shadowplay, we don't need to know that. So let's get some strength, let's get some power. Let's go for a jump up here. So it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with this thing yourself. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Wow, this might actually go to space. Uh oh, it's coming back down. Gyroscope's on. Spin. And there we are. Anyway, have a good weekend and I'll be back on Monday. Bye bye.